So I've decided I'm going to be doing my weekly videos a little differently. Uh, I want to involve more of what I actually do during the day. So what I'm going to be trying to be doing is highlighting a little bit of what goes on every day, uh, just so maybe you get a better idea of what I do, things that go on, because it's one thing for me to talk about what I do in front of a camera at my house. It's another thing to show it. So today's Monday, the 4th. Uh, Mondays typically in almost any army unit are maintenance because we were coming off of a weird EIB training thing uh, last week before leave and we went on leave we haven't done maintenance in a hot minute so the next two days it's gonna be heavy on maintenance on the brads and uh, I'll try to show you a little bit of what that's like Normally I try to do most, if not all of my lifts uh, at work, like right after PT, cause that's like the best time. The gym is usually closed and I'm already warmed up. But like today, uh, I just couldn't fit it all in. Plus uh, I didn't want to do deadlifts right after running. So I just came to the gym that I go to and I love this gym. It's probably the best gym I've ever been to in my life. But the, the only problem is the name is hilariously uninspired. So a lot of what we do as lieutenants is we have to plan a lot of training. So right now we're reconning the site, and I'll show you up above uh, to verify the shoot house for uh, some training that we're going to be doing. So these are rooms that the guys will be clearing. Uh, they won't be using live rounds, but this walkway is so we can watch them go through each of the buildings and each of the rooms. It actually makes it a fantastic training tool for us to observe and make corrections while they're clearing through. And this is what it looks like when you're actually in it. I didn't feel anything today. Got it. Five, six. Since I um, didn't do anything today, uh, I'll just explain more of what you saw in that last little clip there on Friday. So every month, uh, one of the platoon leaders in my company has to get a full eyes on inventory of all of our sensitive items uh, that we all own. It's basically every expensive and important piece of equipment that if broken and or lost, it is a bad day for any of us. This includes weapons, radios, a lot of different kinds of communication equipment, that kind of stuff. And we have to verify by serial number and by site uh, that they are all accounted for and where they need to be. If that sounds tedious, it's because it is. But I can tell you, knowing where your property is is the difference between having a normal day and having the worst day of your life, as an officer at least. I'm sure the Joes would probably think it was funny. Like sometimes just as I'm about to fall asleep, I forget if I put my Whiskey 2 cable in my combo box or if it's still in my Bradley and I'm instantly awake again. Doing uh, these inventories as a PL and a line unit like I am isn't really bad. Uh, you only have to coordinate with two other people and once you account for everything that's already stacked up in the arms rooms, typically you only have to see a couple random bits of equipment like a radio or two or some other kind of GPS related stuff. But the first time I ever did it, it was literally the second I took a step out of the van in Romania, I was handed a packet about half an inch thick, and I didn't understand what any of them were. If you're doing inventory while you're on staff, it's way worse. There is way more equipment to be accounted for. It is scattered everywhere you could possibly imagine in different places. And instead of coordinating with just two other people, you're now coordinating with like 10 or 11. At the time when I had to do it, I didn't know who anyone was in the battalion. I didn't know where anything was because I was in a brand new country. And to top it all off, all the equipment I had to account for wasn't even in the same country let alone the same base. So at the very least, I got a couple extra stamps on my passport out of it. Uh, and as much as I learned uh, from that one little simple task of getting accountability of everything, I wouldn't want to do it again. Let me know if you guys like this new format uh, that I'm trying out. Uh, hopefully you do. If not, it's very easy to just go back to the old way. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends, but not in a weird way. Thanks for watching.